Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to talk about Virgin Galactic. We'll discuss what happened in the past 24 hours in the news. And we'll look at our positions, what trade we performed today to prepare for the future and review the charts as well. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and click any of the money icons below to review our past videos. Smash that like button and subscribe so you can get our future content. So let's get busy. Uh, today what we did was we sold 200 shares, even though we took a loss of about 1626. But because we had all these other premiums in play, our loss right now in the position is only minus 153. But as you know from previous closed positions, we have $764 from the stock. Now we still own 200 shares of this, and we're going to hold this for the long term. And we might do some uh, longer covered calls against this position. But I'll keep you guys posted. This is another reason why you need to do covered calls. Because your position could go south on you in a hurry. And it could stay there for a while. So three of the indices were up in positive territory. The Dow was up 1% and the NASDAQ was up a half a percentage. And the Russell was down almost a half a percentage. And you can see what happened to Virgin Galactic because of the news yesterday. We'll discuss that news in a, here in a minute. Uh, our volume traded at 58.7 million shares. That is almost three times the average volume in one day. The market cap is now down to around $5 billion company. The analyst has a low side of $20, which we're currently at now. The high side of $50 and the average of $31. So why did the stock tank today? Virgin Galactic took over the headlines Friday, but for the wrong reason. With news that the company is again pushing back its initial commercial flights, investors are bailing from the stock. And they talked about early on that the shares moved down 13% after being down 16%, which we closed about 17% down. Now what uh, Virgin Galactic has pre previously said, it's Unity 23 mission, which was to be the first commercial flight being launched from the Italian Air Force, would proceed this month. So those plans are off, been delayed till next year. You have to think about that in your investment in the stock. How long do you want your money sitting there before it's any type of reaction is going to happen? Some food for thought there. Now, this analyst here about an hour ago stated that it could fall another 15%. So what is he looking at? Well, he's a chart analyst and he's looking at the graph and he believes that there there is it could gap down to somewhere around 1727. So that's what his target is to be picking up some shares. So 1727, as long as we don't have no large corrections, I think that could be the bottom, in my belief, based on this analyst as well. So somewhere around 17, and it dips below that, you know, you can dip your toe into it, but remember, anything can happen with the stock now. Until we get some positive news and get some aircraft in the sky, making sure our aircraft is, is suitable to fly into orbit, making sure there's no problems, uh, we're, we're going to be in the doghouse for a while. All right, looking at our chart here, each one of these ticks is one day. As you can see, we doved all the way down here. We haven't been down here since June of this year, and we've been even lower down to 1550. So if we get any type of correction, folks, we're visiting that 1550 again. All right, because remember, we don't have no flights up in the air. We're not making any money in this company. I just want you to be aware of this. So that's why I sold half my position. Plus, I needed that money for other margins because I'm using margin on my account as well. So I need some ammunition for future weeks. And I know this is going to take a while to sort itself out. So... If we get down here to the 1550, I'm definitely very interested in dipping my toe again. Okay, and maybe averaging down my position. So uh, I would really like it to go down a little bit further, somewhere around $10 to $12 mark. If I can get that, if we do a 5% or 8% correction in the overall market, that's more beneficial for me. 
So anywhere between the $10 and the $15 mark, until we get some flights in the air, I, I think we could be safe in that regard. Unless there's something seriously wrong with our aircraft, I, I believe they'll fix the problem. But it's just going to take time, folks. And you're going to have to sit on this one for a while. But then again, the Reddit folks can pump this thing up to, uh, next week again. We just never know. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, please place them down below. Please smash that but like button and subscribe to our channel so you can get our future content. I know it's a bummer on these guys here. I was hoping that they would, I mean, they were more advanced than we were. But apparently they have to fix some internal problems with some of their parts. Got to get them inspected and stuff. So it's a safe flight. I understand that. But hopefully in the future they can resolve these problems and we can get those, those flights going again. You all take care of yourselves and be safe this weekend. Until next time, this is Sonny. I'm out.